What's up guys, Sila here with another guide for you. This is going to be a non-combat pet guide on the disgusting Ooslin, and I'm going to show you the various locations you're about to get it from and the best place I think for farming it. So the first place we're going to go to is Silithus, and you'll find Dredge Crushers and Dredge Strikers here. Now the Dredge Strikers are kind of more in the north end and the Dredge Crushers are from left to right in the middle. And these will have roughly an 8% chance of dropping the oozing bag. Now this is what you need to get the pet. Inside the oozing bag you'll have roughly a 1.6% chance, I think it is down on as Wowhead, of getting the pet from the bag. So as you can see it's going to be quite a hard grind because you're first of all going to have to contend with the drops from the mobs and then you have to be lucky and get it from the bags. The next place we're going to go to is Ungoro Crater, and here you'll find Gluttonous Ooze, I think it's called. And these have roughly a 8% chance again of dropping it, but the problem with these mobs is they're very scarce. You won't find many of them, and they have quite a bad respawn timer. Now more in the middle of Ungoro Crater, around the big volcano, you'll find Primal Ooze. Now the interesting thing about these is if you don't kill them, you sort of let them DPS them down to around 10%, as you'll see now in a very, very slow grind as it hits me and hits me and hits me again. I had to do this because if I did actually melee it, it would probably just be one shot. I would have had to take off all my gear to be able to do this. So, just whacked on right aura and let it whack me for a few minutes, or about a minute. And what you'll notice when it starts to get low, it'll split into two and it'll clone itself. And you'll have a 7% chance and a 5% chance from getting the bag from 7 for the clone and 5 for the primal. So you kind of have double chance from one mob. The problem is you have to try and get it to 10%, which is a pain. The next place is Winter Spring. And this case, uh, this cave, Maz Torril, I think it's called. Tothril. Anyway, in here you'll find this um, dimensional ooze. Now, there's only three of them in this cave, and they're on a two-minute respawn timer, but they have an 8% chance of dropping it as well. And more in the north, you'll find Starfall Village. There's a little cave to the left of Starfall Village. If we go inside here, and right inside, you'll find Cold Lurk Burrows. And these, once again, have an 8% chance of dropping the bag. But there's not too many of them within the cave, and you have to sort of run through the whole cave to be able to kill them all. As you'll see, you'll have the creepers, which are the spiders, and you'll have the burrows, which are the worms, and these are the ones that will drop the bag. Now, as I said, there is quite a few of them in this cave, but still not enough for me to consider this a good farming spot, to be honest. The final place, and the one that I think is going to be the best for farming, is Swamp of Sorrows, and in the west end you'll find these uh, shifting myoglobs. Now the good thing about these is they have a higher drop chance of 9% and there's loads of them. There's literally loads of them around. You literally walk a few steps and you'll find one. There shouldn't be a lack of any of them to kill. You should just be able to keep running around and have one to kill. In a very short sort of range. As you can see there's another one. And there's another one. So yeah, there's a lot of these. So... Good luck! As I said, this is more of a luck pet. It's going to be quite hard to get because, first of all, you have to get the bags, and then from the bags, you'll have a very low chance of getting the pet. The good thing about this pet, though, it is BOE, so you will be able to farm them and sell them. And they sell for quite a lot, I think. So, good luck! I hope this guide's helped you out. Look out for more guides coming soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao!